Brendan, what is biologics? Biologics is a, is a new science, I guess, trying to bring uh, uh, derived medicines from living organisms, effectively. So we're trying to stimulate um, existing cells, living cells, to express a protein that can ultimately help to treat a disease. Biologics represents almost like uh, a whole new phase. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a science that's evolving rapidly. Uh, I mean, when you think, consider that the human genome was only published in the early 2000s. So mm. less than 20 years ago, uh, we were able to uh, express the human genome. And with that knowledge has come huge advances in the understanding of biology and the understanding of disease pathways and therefore of the treatments that we can leverage to, to treat more and more complex diseases. What would it mean for me as an individual like uh, in the years ahead? How will biologics inform how I'll be dealt with? Sure, uh, it's, it's a great question. Uh, hard to, uh, hard to be, uh, you know, gaze into the future exactly. But I think where it's heading is more and more towards what we would call personalized medicines. Uh, some people will speculate that um, we will be able to uh, look at your DNA and understand from your genetic profile your predisposition to certain disease categories or certain diseases. And through that, maybe give you treatments um, prophylactically or like a vaccine ahead of time to prevent those uh, diseases happening uh, for you as an individual. I think that's a long way out, but that's where, that's where the, the knowledge of biology is taking us and the understanding of biological pathways and disease pathways is, is, is taking us. What could it mean for the future of the overall pharmachem industry when you think of this kind of evolution? I mean, it sounds right now, it's, there's a lot of nitty gritty to it, mm. um, but in terms of how it could inform the shape of the industry in years ahead? Yeah, sure, I think things are evolving again rapidly on the manufacturing side, let's say, and, and on the research and development side. And, and clearly what we see in one trend is that things are miniaturizing more and more. So as our understanding of biology increases, uh, the opportunity to um, uh, express more concentrated proteins which have more of a therapeutic effect is emerging all of the time. So as a consequence of that, the footprint that you need from a manufacturing point of view is, is shrinking, is reducing in scale. And ultimately, the ultimate goal of that is get to personalized medicine where we extract uh, blood or, or uh, samples from the patient. Uh, we can modify those genetically, safely and genetically, and reinsert those uh, re-engineered genes uh, back into your body to help treat the symptom that you have. That's ultimately a factory to treat each individual patient. That's a long way out, but we are starting to see some therapies emerge on, on the market now, like gene therapy and cell therapies, that are advancing towards that very much personalized medicine uh, future. And in terms of Ireland, I mean, as an Irishman who works in a global role in, in, in the pharmachem industry, how is Ireland doing in terms of its uh, you know, place in the world, in the pharmachem world, and how it stands, how it's poised, I suppose, to capture opportunities in the new biologics revolution? I think Ireland's punching above its weight. Uh, I mean, we've had a long presence uh, in pharmaceuticals all the way back to the 1960s, uh, the original Squibb Linson factory, I think, that was built in Soares back in the early 1960s. And since then, we've, we've followed the evolution of the industry through chemically derived synthetic uh, pharmaceutical agents now into more biologically derived uh, uh, therapies. Uh, and, and we've built a huge um, reputation for the talent that we have here and for the track record that we have in terms of our ability to get things done. Uh, and I think we can continue to build on that as we see the next wave of innovation and the next wave of new revolutionary biological treatments emerge through our pipelines. And a final question would be to sustain this momentum. Is there anything we need to do on the policy front, whether, whether it's education or regulation, to sustain this? Yeah, I think, I think we need to invest more and more in research. This is a knowledge-based industry, and we need to continue to invest in research and in education of our younger generations to be able to deal with these emerging new technologies. I think if you look at our history over the last 60 years, we've been very successful in manufacturing, but we've never really uh, solved the challenge of building an indigenous pharmaceutical sector in Ireland that's focused on research, built on, based on research and new discoveries coming through. And I think there are, there's great work going on in some of the labs like Luke O'Neill and people like that, but we need to do more of that and we need to connect that to our own indigenous uh, manufacturing capability. And I think um, investing, continuing to invest in research and education to build the talent pool that can deliver that for us in the future is, is key.